Hello, my name is Matthew and welcome back to the Apex Suspects. Today is a very special day as it is engine start day on Will's M52 B30 that we built on this channel. So we built it from block up and documented the full journey with the last episode installing the engine into the car. So today we're going to see if the engine we built, two tools built, will even run. Is even it quite what? How does it stop going backwards again? Hello? So we're just adjusting the throttle position sensor to try and get a reading as close to zero as possible. Step one, build some fuel pressure. It doesn't it only worked once, so it needs to be all right. That sounds pretty pressured up to me. to me. So, also looking for leaks of any fuel anywhere. So that's definitely something we don't want. <laughs> I just want to make it anything. Yeah, I can't see anything. Yeah, right. I'm more concerned up here than down there, but yeah, I don't see anything. Time for the engine's first crank. Or not. Yeah, there's never enough power for that, so I'll have to get some leads on it unless it's decided to just not crack at all now. Attempt two. More power. Just More power, baby. As you could see, the 36 needed more power, so we're jumping it off wheels mini. So, attempt number three of cranking the engine over with some extra assistance from wheels mini. Attempt number four, we hear a faint kind of knocking noise, so we're going to have a look out now to see if, if that's coming from anywhere, see if we can spot anything. It doesn't sound great, but I don't know what it's coming from. Attempt number five. I don't know what it could be. Like it just sounds 
sound against knocking, but that wouldn't make any sense when there's no load on. After a few cranks, there appears to be a bit of oil on the floor. Ready to get the spark plugs in and attempt to build some compression. All of the spark plugs are now in, so let's try and build some compression. Now to crank with the spark plugs in. We were happy with the last crank and yeah. it sounded like the mower made so compression. Be a good compression so, we'll take that. so the knock in noise seemed to have disappeared on the last crank, so we're now going to put the coal packs in and well, see if it actually starts. The engine sounds healthy and it is making good compression, so let's see what happens. Low is the answer. <laughs> Just opening up the oil before cranking it over. Happy with that? Happy with that? Mm -hmm. So the injectors, spark plugs, Coil packs are all plugged in, so time for our first actual start. Oh well, it, <laughs> it turned over and it did, oh. did start. Oh my God. <laughs> Yeah, it needs a bit of air. I don't know how to. It needs up a tiny bit. It's so close, isn't yeah. it? Like, like it's not far away at all. So Will's now going to play with the throttle, and we're going to doesn't want to stand this close to it. He's terrified. Are you ready? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Give me a like stop with your other hand if you yeah, want. Yeah. Well, I'll just let it die. Okay. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> Good job, good job. I mean, you can't even tell it's knocking, it's so loud. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, there you go, proves it. Two tools, can build an engine that might start. <laughs> cool. Go. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one. <laughs> well, it's starting, yeah. so good job, really? good job. So there you have it, two tools, we're able to use tools and built an engine that actually started. So Will and I were actually quite impressed. It started with no faults, straight away, nice and quick. So we are gonna remove the sound deadening off the bonnet and test if we've got enough clearance with the ITVs. Well, then these, these are not going back in, right?
the reality of older cars, unfortunately. So there we go, we've got the bonnet on. Everything is now fitted and in place, ready for Will's maiden voyage. One week later. So today I'm on another exhaust mission. Now we've already got our M3 headers, the M3 midsection, which you saw us collect, and now I'm on my way to collect the M3 back box en route to Wills. So to actually create all of the E36 engine build, E36 build in general, and the two tools try to use to your series, I go to Will's house, which is around two hours from mine. So it's a little bit more effort and traveling that goes on that some of you might think even just to make sections of some of these videos. Um, but yeah, anyway, I'm going to collect that now and you're going to be able to see what I've, what I've purchased. So I've completed the exhaust puzzle and collected the M3 back box back there. So let's go to Will and see what he thinks. So it's brand new look. So here you have your before and after. Will's pretty happy with his uh, M3 back box purchase. Later on, Will's friend Ross appeared in his lovely Techno Violet 328 to show us his recent roof box purchase. <laughs> Oh, you're fine. <laughs> 